because it isn't the news that any of us expected to wake up to. And Ardell Walters put it best, perhaps, that, you know, it shows how much General Colin Powell was respected inside Walter Reed. He didn't just get there this morning, and yet the news did not leak. I'm thinking about the time I served, because I served for 21 years, and I was under his uh, control, especially when it comes to his position. To think of a man who looked like me being in a position of authority, specifically as chairman of the Joint Chiefs and then Secretary of State, and then to wake up and hear he's already passed away, I am absolutely speechless. Yeah. He was yeah. the, what I, what I consider the standard of what a man should be, specifically as a, a diplomat, but more so as a soldier. When I think back to my military career and all the leaders that I've served under, I can't think of a man who epitomized what a soldier should be more than General Powell. So much so I even mm -hmm. quoted one of his uh, sayings in my books. And I think that we as a society, and especially as military and former military members, we have to look back at the example that he set for us and also exemplify what it meant, what it means to be one, a man, but more specifically a black man and a military soldier serving his country. He gave the, mm -hmm. the example of what it means to be dedicated to a country, committed to a family and a general person overall. He was in so many positions that were tricky, that were tough, that were pressure filled. <clears throat> and you called him, you know, an example of the best soldier. And I don't know if Mike is back with us now, but I will ask you this. Mm. It seemed like he was never exhausted, never exasperated, that he loved being a soldier and never with all the decorated, with all the stars, never poked his chest out about it, but he loved serving. Is that what you believe is true? For me, the greatest thing a man can do is serve his country. Now, General Powell had a lot of responsibilities. We're talking about dealing with an entire nation. But I think what we see on camera is not the full picture. He may have been tired, exhausted, especially with all the level of responsibility that he had. But when he's in front of people, he lets them know that anything mm -hmm. is possible because he was the example of it. No matter how desperate the situation, no matter how complicated things may be, you have the ability to act and take the, take the opportunity to make a difference. And being a soldier was the example of that difference he made. Doesn't that exemplify leadership, though? Sometimes when you're at your most tired, uh, you never show it because you got to show how strong you got to be out front. You got to lead. And this is what he did. But I, I think another thing, uh, Terry, that, that made him so special is I uh, Del touched on a little bit is that he was also humble and, and would admit uh, when he was wrong, like he did when he came to the, the Desert Storm. Um, that's something that's rare that you see uh, in, in Washington, D.C., and not only in the military ranks, but just in politics in general. Uh, and I talk about the level of respect that he had uh, from both sides. Can you speak on the respect factor that you saw uh, others have from him, not only from yourself, but from uh, other uh, members of the military and, and just people in the community in general? I think you hit it on the head. The idea that when you're in a top position and you're speaking to those who are decision makers and to openly admit, hey, I was wrong, as you said, is extremely rare. And because he's willing to admit where the errors were and take responsibility for it, that in itself garners respect. You can't be a leader and not know where your shortcomings are and more importantly, mm -hmm. not be willing to take responsibility for it. That, that doesn't show leadership that shows an individual who is one incapable of taking responsibility and also demonstrates that you are not the leader that you're supposed to be and why should as a result why should i follow you if you're unwilling unwilling to admit your own mistakes